Welcome back, back to KSP Made Easy, my tutorial series for Kerbal Space Program. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the construction and flying of a simple aircraft. Naturally, you might think that the next step after getting into orbit is to get a little further out, start exploring the Mun, Minmus, and getting farther away from Kerbin. But in my opinion, that the best thing to do at this stage is to get is to take the scientific experiments that you have and attach them to the to the first set of aircraft parts you have and explore around the Kerbal Space Center. The reason I do this is because uh, it'll help practice using more advanced construction techniques. It'll help you get used to the controls of both aircraft and rockets, and it'll help build up experience for both your curb for your Kerbals if you have experience enabled. If you'll please join me, we'll move our way over to the space plane hangar where we'll construct our first simple aircraft. Welcome to the space plane hangar. Our rules for this vehicle are very simple. Be able to take off, gather science, and then land. So we need engines, wings, control surfaces, and a tail with horizontal stabilizer and a set of elevators. We're going to be using the uh, offset tool uh, and uh, the indicator tools down on the corner there. Uh, the offset tool, which I will show you where those are in just a minute, uh, are used to slide the parts in, a, uh, in different directions so that way you can place them more accurately where you need them. The uh, uh, indicator tools will allow you to indicate where your center of gravity, so your center of thrust, and your center of lift are, as you can see there. This is the offset tool. It looks like the little uh, rocket on the top there. These are the uh, tool, the symmetry angle snap and the indicator tools. Uh, we'll use the center of lift, uh, which is the wing-shaped one, and the center of mass, which looks like the heavy weight, in order to indicate. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that the center of lift is behind the center of uh, mass in order to ensure the vehicle remains stable. So that way, if it's in a position where there is no power and you're not doing any control, its natural position is to start to dive and that's easier to control and safer to recover from than an unstable position where the center of mass is behind the center of lift and that is your main goal with all aircraft and especially with rockets it's why I put a lot of the fins towards the back in the previous episode was so that way the center of lift was behind the center of mass with aircraft you want it as close to the center of mass as possible but with uh, us as close but uh, still behind the center of mass so that way you can still easily control it and it will remain stable. Now that we're out on the runway and uh, I had the Kerbal EVA to uh, show you that you can gather some science, we're going to hit spacebar to activate our engine. Use shift and control to control throttle. We're going to throttle all the way up and uh, start building up speed as we roll down the runway. Something to note about uh, these aircraft is uh, they are incredibly... Th these wheels par particularly are incredibly fragile. If you go too fast with them, they will they will uh, explode. So you're going to hit S gently, uh, just gently tap uh, the S key in order to take off and then you'll be off and uh, at some point you will get off the deck around 50 meters a second. In order to turn you're going to roll the aircraft slightly using the uh, Q and E keys and then you'll tap the S key and the uh, and the uh, either the A or D key depending on the direction that you want to go in order to uh, ro roll yaw and pitch it into until you reach the attitude that you want to face. We're just going to fly around just a little bit and uh, show that this thing is it's not quite as maneuverable. Uh, a lot of aircraft in Kerbal Space Program can do a lot of uh, high high speed rolls like that. Uh, it's not going to go very fast. It's not going to get above the speed of sound, but it'll it'll move. It'll it'll get you where you need to go, and it has uh, quite a bit of fuel. These uh, jet engines are very. Uh, fuel efficient so you'll be able to move it wherever you need to. Some advice uh, that I'm going to give right now is uh, with aircraft uh, it's all about energy conservation and when you're trying to land something that you should that you should try and do is do do some big S turns to try and bleed off as much speed as possible. You want to be down to less than 100 meters a second uh, before you start uh, before you uh, start reach down to touch the deck or the ground. 
Uh, I'm going a little fast here, but we'll we'll get down. And this thing does seem to retain energy or uh, maintain speed even when the engine is off rather well. So you you get a little beyond the space plane hangar, and there really isn't a point to trying to touch touch down. But uh, if you're going to be flying aircraft, if you're going to follow along with this, then I recommend you do a couple of touch and goes. That's where you fly in. And I apologize about the uh, uh, visual glitch there. I'm not sure what that is about. But if you, you uh, can do a couple of touch and goes where you fly in, uh, get as slow as you can uh, on approach, touch your wheels down, then immediately throttle back up and take off. That way you get some practice on uh, learning how to approach a runway. You get some practice learning uh, the controls that you need. You learn how to slow yourself down, how to, uh, and uh, you learn ra rather quickly the uh, speeds that at which you need to land safely. Uh, it's good to have the revert flight tool uh, on or make quick saves uh, in the middle of flight, although you can't really quick save mid-flight. Uh, again, I'm touching down, but I still have quite a ways to go before I'm going to stop and I'm approaching the end of the runway. Uh, another thing is if you're nervous about uh, landing uh, or or take off and you this aircraft will very easily uh, strike the tail on the ground and destroy the tail and that will leave the aircraft unusable. So if you're nervous about something like that then what I recommend you do is uh, you get you build up as much speed as possible and you take it to the end of the runway. Although, once again, be careful. Uh, watch your speed uh, on on takeoff. Don't overspeed those wheels and destroy them and ruin your landing gear. But, yeah, uh, aircraft are pretty easy to control. They're a lot of fun to play around with. And we'll move ourselves on to uh, testing this out in our science mode play uh, game. Moving our way into our science playthrough, uh, I'm not going to talk too much during this. There are some changes that I made, such as I just needed to use two fuel tanks instead, and that makes uh, moves the center of mass a little farther forward uh, than uh, it did with the other one. Um, but uh, we're going to we're just going to recreate the aircraft that we made there, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll spend most uh, I'll come in and uh, talk a little bit. Uh, every now and then but uh, I'll spend most of this time um, staying quiet and let the game t talk for itself uh, Lord knows that I'm not good enough for at voiceover for, to do this for a long period of time anyway we're gonna I'm gonna play some music from the YouTube audio library hopefully I don't get copyright struck for that but uh, and I'll uh, see you guys in a little bit uh, but this is uh, the same aircraft uh, just a, a couple of slight changes
And so with those few flights that we had, uh, we decided to, I decided to move myself over into the, uh, spa the uh, research and development building and uh, unlock a few new parts that we could use. Uh, particularly, I wanted to unlock some new scientific experiments. We had the option to get some more rocket parts or some more avi avionic parts. But uh, I felt it more important that we unlock uh, more scientific experiments, particularly the... Uh, um, science junior there uh, that way we can uh, uh, gather even more science uh, and uh, attach it to our aircraft so that way we can gather as much science as possible I'm going to be going back to music uh, as we uh, finish up with these last few flights <laughs>
I just wanted to thank you all very much for joining me today. Uh, over the, the last video has gained me over 34 subscribers now, and uh, that's a lot. Uh, that is uh, well on my way to the first 50. That is uh, my, my goal now. Uh, if you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like it, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, really helps me out. Like if you uh, enjoyed the video. Comment if you have any suggestions on what I can do better and dislike it if you didn't like it. Uh, you can join me on my uh, Discord server. Uh, link in the description below. As well as uh, if you want to support me and help me uh, help me go move towards uh, the, the goal of becoming an astronaut. Uh, you can support me on Patreon. I'd really appreciate that. That'd be amazing. But uh, it's not required. Again, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And uh, I can't wait to see uh, how far this goes. And uh, I, I can't wait to watch the channel grow. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.